Good day, McVeigh, and happy Friday. Good morning, boys and girls. Please stand to honor our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Boys and girls, you may be seated. Now, today, my friends, it's the last day before our break, so I have lots of birthdays to announce. We'll start with our birthdays for today, and we're going to do all of our birthdays between now and when we come back. So for today, happy birthday to Logan Purcell in our first grade. Also, Sophia Beretta, in our first grade. For tomorrow, happy birthday to Zachary G. Varghese in our fifth grade, Kylie Willis in our fourth grade, Lily Alderson in our second grade, and Mrs. Oliveri. On Sunday, happy birthday to Isabella Salazar in our first grade, Thomas Tukowski in our third grade, and Julian Tukowski in our third grade. On Monday, happy birthday to Andy Chen in our fourth grade, Ava Ugaldi in our third grade, and Mrs. Ryder. On Tuesday, happy birthday to Jesse Cruz in our fourth grade, and Mrs. Shannon. On Wednesday, happy birthday to Katerina Yarkin in our fourth grade, Ayub Abdullah in our second grade, Sean Slobodin in our fourth grade, Alexandria Ortiz Correas in our fourth grade, and Isabella Reyes in our kindergarten. All right, now we're moving into April. So this is Thursday, April 1st. Happy birthday to Cynthia Gonzalez Ramirez in our fourth grade, and Juliana Whitehurst in our third grade. On Friday the 2nd, happy birthday to Damien Vasquez in our third grade, Mahek Islam in our second grade, and Amy Namarithian in our first grade. Also, Mrs. Perillo. On April 3rd, happy birthday to Mia Valentine in our fifth grade and Erin Cunningham in our fourth grade. On the fourth, which is Sunday, happy birthday to Giovanni Esposito and John Bavani in our kindergarten. And finally, on Monday, April 5th, happy birthday to Jesse Salonga in our second grade. So, today, my friends, we have pizza for lunch. We also have egg chef salad. We have our bagel lunch and grilled cheese. Now, friends, today is our last day of our tour of Europe. Now, it doesn't mean we're um, leaving Europe altogether because we have lots of European cultures. Yesterday, believe it or not, was Greek Independent Day, and, and excuse me, Independence Day. But today, we're going to visit another country in Europe that we have some students at McVeigh uh, who have family there, or where they came from. It's Macedonia, North Macedonia, the Republic of Macedonia, and this is the flag of Macedonia. So, when we learned about Yugoslavia, and when Yugoslavia. Uh, let's call it divided, and became different uh, countries. Well, Macedonia actually uh, became the Republic of Macedonia in the 1990s. So it's not that long ago. Some countries have existed for a very, very long time. Macedonia, not so much, but the area of Macedonia has always been there. It's a very, very, very old place. And in fact, uh, it's one of the oldest civilizations that we know of on record. And so some cool facts about Macedonia is that uh, the area has the uh, greatest number of uh, mountain peaks in, it, uh, in the world, actually. And Mount Olympus, which is actually in Greece, kind of lands on the border. Um, hmm, what else did I want to share with you? Ah, here's a cool fact. Um, 
So Macedonia was the, actually the first place on, in the world to get uh, wireless broadband. Imagine that. Uh, so yeah, because it was part of an experiment and they were the first ones in the world. The people of Macedonia speak Macedonian. That's its own language. Uh, and getting back to the flag. So here's the flag. And uh, you see it looks like a sun. Well, it is a sun and it's uh, supposed to be the sun of liberty. And the colors of uh, yellow and red are in the history of Macedonia. Uh, plus, the red represents the Slavic tradition. Remember Yugoslavia? Right, so that's where that comes from. So, a very unique place that I'd love to visit someday. Now, we had our culture character yesterday, and here was the clue. Super interesting uh, drawing. So, you see the beach, the love of the sand, the country. Who am I? So we knew, we found it yesterday. This is Jamaica, but this is Miss Siobhan. Super cool drawing. Now, another teacher, and this is going to introduce our new continent. We have another teacher who shared this. So what can we see? What are the clues here? We have India. We have, again, Jamaica. And look at the beautiful drawings of Jamaica and India. Hmm, who am I? Hmm. So we're heading into Asia next month. We're going to learn a lot about Asia. And uh, we have many students here at McVeigh who are from Asia. And so I'm sure that we're going to be hearing from them as well. I loved everybody who was ready for Culture Day yesterday. Well done. Okay, now for our Get Smart projects today, I have two of them. One is by Lara Abreu and, uh, and Leandro. So what they did is they made their own culture character. So here they are in the USA, America. But what they've included also are the flags of Portugal, now, we, we visited Portugal in our tour of Europe and France. And that tells you that their heritage is French and Portuguese. Now, we don't have the um, flag of Portugal hanging yet. We do have one here, but it's a little bit too large. So we need one that's smaller that can fit in our hallway. But there is a flag of France. And I love that uh, Laura took the time and Leandro too to make this. So maybe we'll be doing this for everybody. Wouldn't that be cool? The other uh, Get Smart project we have today is from Ryan Fell in room 102, who's written another book. This one is about tigers. So he actually does another wonderful job illustrating his book and giving fun facts about tigers. So let's see, I'll give you some of them. Um, so tigers as an adult, they're the largest species of cats, but they can weigh 660 pounds. That is a lot of pounds. That's very, very heavy. Hmm, let's see if I can give you another cool fun fact. Uh, oh, here is a very cool fun fact. Uh, tigers can hear up to two miles away. That is very, very, very far. Hmm. Let's see. They're super fast and they generally have blue eyes. But did you know this? Tiger cubs are born blind. Yep, and then over time, their eyes uh, develop. But think about that. So that makes sense that they hear better because their eyes don't uh, work as well. And they generally live alone. But there are some excellent fun facts in here that I didn't cover that I would like for you to read the book to find out. That's why I don't always give all the facts so that you can go and find out yourself. In our Getting Smart Through Art, just a couple of uh, beautiful drawings to share. Now, I don't know who these came from. There's no names on them. But 
well done. So thank you for submitting these. Again, I don't know uh, where these came from, but they were in my Get Smart art box. This one is from Rania, that I'm sure of. And this one is from Titus. And Titus did back-to-back. -back. Nice work. Okay. So finally, it's uh, time for our Mighty Kind Moment of the Day. We're going to get our drum roll. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. This is by Brooke Castle. I love this. And it's a poem. It says, McVeigh is open and so are you. McVeigh School, kindness is in you. I love that. Brooke, well done. So it's interesting that this is our mighty kind moment of the day, especially when we're going on vacation. But the thing about this is that McVeigh is always open. This is a very special place for uh, all of our McVeigh family. And Mc McVeigh always has kindness in it. Why? Because the people inside are working so hard to be kind. And we have to keep doing that, even when we're not in school. Always be thinking about, what can I do today to be kind? Not just because I'm here at McVeigh, but because that's what we should do as human beings, to be kind to each other. So, as we go into our break, I hope you get outside, get some healthy exercise. If you wear, ride your bicycle, wear a helmet and have a wonderful time with your family. But at the same time, remember to be kind. Why? Because you're a mighty mind. Not only that, mighty kind, mighty minds. And every day, boys and girls, it's a great day to get smart and be kind to both each other and the earth. Let's have a wonderful day. <laughs>